Well, all right. Hey, good morning, ABS. How you guys doing? Uh, today, I got my somebody told me somebody told me uh, if you're gonna put anything on YouTube, they tear your phone landscape, so I won't have those two black lines on the side. So I'm gonna try see how this works out. But today it is 7:30, and on the uh, ABS pit boss today, I got on two briskets and four butts today. And man, I am running. Tell you, I'm running my pellet grill today. Okay, along with you know some charcoal and wood. Uh, this is a competition blend of hickory and some other stuff, some apple, maple. Uh, so I am using my pellet smoke today, along with wood and charcoal. And I did set it. Hey guys, hey, good morning. What's what's happening? I did set it for 180 because uh, right now it's still it's still coming up the temp. You know, I started with a cold pit and I got my meat on, which is cold too. Uh, so probably later on, I'll probably bump it up about 225 in about two hours or so. And we'll get to the back in just a minute and uh, let you guys see what's in the pit today. But man, I tell you what, I love this pellet smoker with the combination of the, the charcoal in the back today. So I'm, uh, I went with some coarse black pepper, just keeping it simple, man, this salt and pepper. All right, I was gonna run eight racks today, but you know, I didn't feel like working too hard. So I just put on two briskets today. And they're coming around just a minute. Man, don't that look good? And uh, four, four, four big old butts. These butts are between 11 and uh, 12 pounds, okay? And I do have my meter probes and my meter block probes in. And they, these things work great for, uh, they work pretty good for rotisserie style smokers. You know, I'm gonna take it slow today. I probably just, I probably just run no higher than 250, all right? Let's go check out the back. Let's close this up. And also, I'm running a wet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a dry pit. I might put some water down there later on. I just wanna see how it's gonna do. And I'll probably spritz, you know, throughout the day too. All right, so right now, it's just above 100 degrees, okay? And I'm running. Matter of fact, let me open this thing up just a little bit more. All right, there we go. All right, guys, also, I told you from last week, man, I took that fan system off. I'm just going straight draft. Uh, the fan system, I don't know. It's kind of iffy sometimes, because when it's blowing, it just blows straight to the left. And uh, actually, uh, I, I want something that blows into the pit, okay? So I got both. I got both vents open on both sides, okay? So we're gonna run wide open uh, today on these uh, on the pit boss. Let's check out. And uh, so I do have my pit coming up slow. I didn't jump a lot of charcoal in. You know, I put two, I think the bio cubes, I mean three of them, and uh, I let that just come up naturally. I'm not going with a lot of wood today, man, because this, this mesquite, I think it's Lozaro Gourmet Mesquite. Man, this stuff puts, it puts some good smoke without a lot of wood uh, on your uh, on your um, your meat. Okay, so that picture I sent out before, they go back all the way to 1918. But it's it's it, man, I'm telling you, it's uh, the smoke profile is is out, is pretty good. And I probably just go with this little bit of wood right here. And I'm not like I said, I'm not going with a lot of wood. It's not that big. I'm just letting it warm up. You know, once this uh, lump charcoal gets blazing, I'm just gonna throw it on top. Just to add a little bit more extra smoke with it. Let's put that back in there. But other than that, that's it. And today, guys, I got somebody. They bring him by a. They bring him by a. Uh, a tomahawk steak, and I'm, I'm gonna season that up and and grill it on the uh, the pit ball. So I'll show you guys how to. I'm gonna do that tomahawk steak, okay? And uh, how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do it. Just salt and pepper and garlic, and I'm gonna sear it at probably a temperature of 500 degrees. And then take it to about you know one, uh, get about medium rare, and then I'm gonna put it on the smoker for about an hour till it comes up to about 135, and then uh, that should be it on that. Okay, but that's a wrap for the day, guys. I keep you uh, keep you guys in touch throughout the day. Let you know my cook is how my cook is going. All right, but man, I do like that. I do like the pellet grill system with the combination. All right, guys, there you have it. I'll bring you guys back in about two hours or so, all right? Hey, God bless, and we'll talk to you later.